Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Caitlin. I'm here talking about We Weight Loss and Recovery, and I am going to be putting together a little quick, um, over the night oats recipe infused with THC for you. I'm going to do my best to, uh, I guess, log this out. Um, usually I try to set my videos to music because I'm a rambler. Uh, I got. I'm cursed with the corny. I got a lot of things going on. But I'm just doing my dishes. <clears throat> so I look presentable for the video. I just finished up a nice little workout. Um, it was a little bit of like a booty, heavy, hamstring heavy, uh, Pilates slash weightlifting spiel. It was good, it was fun. So you should check that out if you haven't. Um, I have socks on. That was the whole point of the video, was like these sock exercises, but that didn't end up working out. It was still fun. Um, I'm gonna make myself some tea also. You know, I like to use my honey infused, weed infused honey tea as a recovery treat or pre-workout medication recovery treat it's gonna be today so let me get it together i'll be back all right guys i'm making this happen my tea is is it's done now so i'm just gonna add i like to add cream and I'm actually gonna add this oak milk I'm gonna use for our recipe, just a little dash. And then I'm really not too scared today. So I'm just gonna get a spoon that fits in there, stir it up a little bit and add a pretty generous amount of honey to my tea. <sighs> yeah, this will be a good amount for another day. I still am gonna use this, but I did a lot on my legs in my workout and I definitely need help recovering. So this is some peppermint extract. It's my little ball secret if i put it in my tea it is just like so good you can add it to your hot chocolate i haven't added it to coffee that just hasn't been my thing but i would so what we're doing today some overnight oats first things first no waste your money i mean you definitely can i try to reuse as much as possible i have like an old salsa jar and an old jam jar that i'm gonna put my oats in overnight i have all my stuff i need i have about 300 I have to check for sure, but I want to say it's 360 milligrams of wheat here. Um, I have it written down for my last recipe because I used a portion of it for those Rice Krispie Treat pumpkins. We got some honey. We got some fruits for it, some fresh ginger, some almonds, some chia seeds, some coconut flakes, and our rolled oats, planted oat, soy milk, wait, planted oat oat milk, vanilla. This is delicious. It takes like the filling in Rice Krispie Treats. I swear to goodness. It... Yeah, I swear. Rice Krispie Treat filling. Okay, I'm going to cut these things up. Okay. As I finish cutting this apple, I guess I just want to try to share a little bit about myself. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I talk a lot about weight loss and weed. Um, and I've shared a little bit about my personal recovery experience where, um, you know, I was addicted and physically dependent on some harder substances in my life. And I spent over six years in an abstinent-based program and then um, had some medical issues that needed support. Um, opioids weren't an option for me. And unfortunately, I wasn't responding entirely to like behavioral options. 
um, like even like Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or any other medicines I was prescribed. Like I did the HTC diet. I did, um, then they prescribed me Wellbutrin. So, um, I started smoking weed. I got more active once I started smoking weed and that was exciting. And then, um, I started really losing weight. I was all of a sudden able to combine diet exercise and um this newfound like motivation and pain management that I had and uh I lost over 80 pounds now I still weigh about 200 pounds so I'm I have a goal to lose about really just 15 to 20 more pounds by building muscle and um I follow a pretty easy regimen I work out three days a week one of those days is yoga those are like intentional workout days anything more than that is a plus I um stick to like an like a intermittent dying type intermittent dieting type deal and um I put a lot of weed in my food. So back to the fun. Okay. This is the mess, but I have everything I need. I have one cup rolled oats, one cup chopped apples. I have an entire plum. I just happen to like plums. I was in a plummy mood. I will post like a link the original recipe, but really, um, I just build off like a recipe I found online and put whatever I want in it. I'm putting plums as another fruit. Um, I will put one cup of any plant-based, uh, I was going to say milk, but yes, any plant-based milk, soy, um, almond, as you can see, I picked oat milk. Over here, I have my mixing bowl, which I'm about to use. I have a one fourth tablespoon fresh ginger. I grounded and one half teaspoon. This is one fourth teaspoon, one half teaspoon of orange zest. And then here's some superfoods. I got almonds. I got two tablespoons of almonds sliced. They also are kind of crushed now and one tablespoon of chia seeds. And then I'll add a whole nother one fourth cup of coconut flakes to like my whole mixture. But first, dun, 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 the weed. What do we have to do for this? Okay, so how I'm gonna prepare my weed is I'm just gonna make it the base of my entire concoction. So I'm gonna take like a spoonful of coconut oil. I almost forgot I have to add the honey, but don't do where I got it. Just a little bit, like a spoonful. Drop it in there, and I'm going to heat it up. <clears throat> 30 seconds, that's fine. I like to break down the cooking hash in parchment paper. I just find that it kind of like evens out better. So I'll take some parchment paper, you can see the deep carb hash, put it on here, I'm going to show you, there's some real lumpy parts, so I just fold that up, if anybody's like an old school drug user, it's kind of triggering, however, Technique that works, man. Okay. Gonna pour that into here. I'm just gonna use what I'm gonna use to mix the whole thing up. So I'm gonna mix this up. Breaking up all those lumps, making sure everything's nice and smooth. My dogs always come around here when I'm cooking and I get so nervous. I should get a gate. <sighs> Not that I would worry it would hurt my dogs, but you know, my dogs are old, so they might be like, what is happening? Okay, so you can see Everything's pretty melted up. And what I can do is just start adding all my stuff. So here we go. All right. 
great. So I guess the last thing I guess I'm going to try to get out to you guys as I'm sitting here and talking is, um, a, you know, I, I try to be mindful about the difference between use and abuse. You know, I didn't really come out about smoking weed to like everyone. Um, until after a good year. And um, in that first year, I spent a lot of time, some would say over analyzing exactly um, what I was doing because it definitely is in the mind, people, addiction. It's in the mind and it's real and it doesn't really matter what drug it is. Like obviously heroin is the scariest, alcohol is the awful one, crack all that. But I mean, just because this is marijuana, does not mean you can't put yourself through, through some emotional pain because of it, all right? So I try to be mindful of that. I do, however, want to give some hope um, that, you know, it. Ha I have found a balance at this point in my life. Like, I can enjoy using marijuana, say, on a Friday night for fun, you know what I mean? Rather than how I used to feel like I could only have fun if it was sober stuff or if I was sober and um I went through a lot of guilt in the beginning and like shame kind of stuff so I'm here to talk about that if anybody ever wants to just know I'm right here um I started cooking my weed as a way to manage my dose and really get a control over like how much I was consuming and um since then I've just found ways to make healthier and healthier options using weed um for recovery and diet purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead, put these babies in their recyclable, usable glass jars and chill them for the night. Almost forgot my tea, still drinking it. All right, let me know how I did. Like and subscribe, comment below. I know that couldn't be it. Sorry, I gotta show you guys what it looks like and tell you what to do. So. I was dipping apple in the coconut, like in the after base, just to get every little bit of weed madness. So, as you can see, I've divided my oats into two jars. I'm going to close them. I'm obviously a messy person. I never put you right there. Said I wasn't. So I'm going to close these up. It is 360 milligrams that I ended up um, using in this. So what that means is like the smaller one, like I'm going to guesstimate this. It is just myself that I'll be dosing. So I don't feel like as concerned as I would if it was someone who was depending on me to tell them their dose. Okay. So it's 360 total. This small one, I'm going to label as 160 milligrams. This bigger one, I'm going to label as 200 milligrams. I will use, obviously, I mean, heck, I don't know. I might eat a whole one in the morning one day, but probably not. <laughs> probably not. Each one of these, this, this one will be two servings for sure. And the bigger one could possibly be three. Um, I'll combine them with other things depending on what I want you know, eat some eggs. It's not like this will be the only thing that I'm relying on for my morning meals. And so I can get a nice, decent medication in a nice, healthy way. And that's it, man. I'm going to put these in the fridge. They chill for at least eight hours and they will be ready for me in the morning. Grab and go. Okay. Thanks so much. Like and subscribe. Get high. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <sighs> All right, good morning, beautiful people. It is my clock. It says 5.04, that's about 17 minutes fast. I have a commitment at five I have to get to. I'll be out of my house all day, so I came prepared. Ugh. First things first, I have my empty bottle, water bottle. Um, when I get to my first destination, I can absolutely fill that up, but I like to reuse my water bottles um, like three or four times, not too excessively, but just like three or four times. I have my thermal, 32 ounces, coffee, black. Um, I have some sugar-free creamer. 
uh, that I will add to that when it's time. And last but not least, oh, I got my oats. Look at that. Look at those oats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I put my spoon in and started up not that long ago. Mm. It was pretty good, man. It was good. When I get um, a chance and when I eat it, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take some pictures then. And this video will be complete, man. Thank you so much again for hanging in there. All right, we did it. <laughs> okay, bye.